So what else can you review? The Blue Kaftan, which is a Moroccan Arabic language drama directed by Mariam Tuzani. Uh, Halim and Mina run a traditional kaftan store in one of Morocco's uh, oldest medinas. And they need to work faster in order to keep their customers. But the thing is that he is old school. He doesn't use machines. He does everything handcrafted. And he's very, very dedicated to his craft. So they take on Youssef, who is an apprentice. And you immediately see in him a kind of an aberration for Yusuf. He believes that Yusuf could be an apprentice who will who will take on his trade. And his, his wife says, no, no, he won't. Like anybody else, he'll just end up being a delivery boy. But then she starts to become aware of there being something you know, beyond just the professional aberration. Is he interested in his craft or is he interested in, in something else? Meanwhile, there's a, a scene very early on in which there's a bathhouse in which we see him gazing at the men in the bathhouse and we understand that he's married but his he he appears to be gay and it also starts to become clear that this is something which is known within the marriage and which is obviously a source of some uh tension but also uh a source of some resolution um the film premiered in the Uncertain Regard section at the 2022 Cannes Film Festival, which is always saying, the Uncertain Regard, which is films that are regarded uncertainly by the festival. It was also Morocco's entry uh, for the international feature film category at the Academy Awards. And, and on one level, it is about a covert, um, you know, closeted gay relationship. On another hand, it, on another level, it is a portrait of a marriage and a rather beautiful portrait of marriage. There's a lovely scene when the husband and wife who... You know, the, although there is clearly some level of estrangement with them in terms of his sexuality, um, they role play an argument between him and a customer, and it's very funny. She's very proud of his dedication to his craft. She says, "My husband is a malim, not a machine." They go to a cafe to watch a to watch a match, and and she's punching the air, and she's smoking, and uh, she's very feisty and independent. She's also unwell, and she's looking to the future. And they start to have conversations that make you realize that what's happening in this marriage is that they do, they understand each other much better than you think they might do, and that they have accepted each other. I mean, at one point, he says, I tried all my life to suppress it. I could have brought shame on you. And she says, I don't know any man as pure and noble as you. And I, it was, I thought it was really really affecting them it not least it's affecting because it has a score by him forgive me if i've mispronounced this uh christian idis anderson who's a danish composer and sound engineer whose cv includes working with von trier on things like antichrist and more recently did that drama vivarium and do you remember we did interviews uh, with vivarium's uh, stars um that was around about the time that lockdown was it was just before lockdown i think anyway the music is really uh, emotional and you know maybe slightly melodramatic but i like melodrama and it's a very gentle film and what's really impressive about it is it is a film about about resolution and it is about the marriage even though it appears not to be and it's called the blue kaftan thanks very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. While you're here, check out all the other videos because they're cool too, aren't they? Yeah, and if you want to keep up to date with everything Kermit and Mayo's take, then check out our social channels. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, I, I would. I have done. Excellent.